What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very tough passing play in Madden 18. Now, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So like I said, we're going to be going over one of the tougher passing plays in the game this year. It is out of the Trips tight end flex formation and the play is called PA Shot Crossers. Now, if you watch any of the tournaments or things like that, you'll see that there's a few guys that run this. This is a, a pretty decently popular play in the tournament community. It's not something everybody runs, but it's a play you see sprinkled in from you know quite a few people. And there's a bunch of different ways people set this up, but... The main thing you're trying to do on this play is hit the B receiver because unless there's any type of cloud flat on the field, that B receiver is going to pretty much get wide open and have to be user guarded. So the way that I like to set this up is I simply put A on a fade and then I put X on an in route. So the X route and the B route are going to play off each other really nicely. If the B route's covered, then the X route's going to be open underneath. So, so it's a really nice, easy, high, low read. And then we have the post going across the middle. Um, which is going to work better against, you know, safeties that aren't absolute goons like Earl and Cam. Uh, there's some situations where we can hit it, but if you're going against lesser safeties, then you can hit the post against any type of coverage. But against Earl Thomas back there, he's he's going to jump it a little bit more than, you know, your average safety. But it's not the focal point of the play. So here we're going to go against the cover four hard flag coverage. And you'll see that B just gets wide open for a huge gain. You really have to have some type of cloud flat on that side of the field to stop that route. Otherwise, it, it's just going to be easy pickings all day. We'll run it again here. You see he crosses over that side of the field, and it, it's just wide open. So that's cover four hard flat. Now we can look at cover four cloud flat, which you'll see when we put cloud flats on the field, it's going to drift back there with that route, but that's when you want to take the underneath route to Brown, and it's just going to be there all day. Most users on this play, regardless, are going to, you know, they're going to try to go user the, the crossing route or the post. So the end route is going to be a nice check down for us pretty much no matter what. Now here we'll go against the cover three hard flat look and you'll see uh, we're going to have the same success here. It's actually going to get more open against the cover three. Almost scored a touchdown there. Like I said, you need a cloud flat over there to stop it. So if they do put cloud flats on the field again... This is when you want to just check it down to the X receiver, come and cross the end, go upfield, try to get some extra yards. Now I'm going to show the post route really quick. I'm going to go against the cover three here, and you'll see that it, it's just a tight throw versus somebody like Earl. If they have an elite safety with like really good zone coverage, like yeah, we can get down in front of them. It's a tight throw though. It's not. There's going to be times where he's closer than that. We'll throw it one more time. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe we get down in front of him again, but I just want to show you that like the post is there. You can hit it. It's just that you really have to, you have to definitely possession catch it. You have to get down. Earl's going to make a better play on it, but your average safety, he's going to get absolutely wide open against an average safety. But against Earl, you, you just have to be careful when throwing it against a guy like him. Now against cover two, that's when I really like to uh, look for the post. If they don't put the linebacker over the middle in the deep blue, you're going to be able to hit the post all day. Earl's going to, you know, he's going to try to make a play, but he's just going to still be a few steps behind. It's going to be a safe throw because you're throwing it to the inside, whereas before you're throwing it over the middle and he's coming down on you. Here he's going to always be to the outside, and you're throwing to the inside as I get hit with a crazy block shed there. Because you have inside position on him, it doesn't matter that he's close. It's still going to be a safe throw, so we're going to show it again versus cover two here. You see we're always going to have inside position on him, and we just want to make sure we hit the possession catch. Now, if you're playing someone that's really experienced and they drop the middle linebacker over the middle in a cover two, you won't be able to hit the post. But against, you know, the typical person you're going to play online, most most average people don't use that adjustment. It's something that advanced people do. So it's not something you have to worry about running into too much. So here we're against cover two again, and we're checking it down to the end route because they do have a cloud flat on the field. Like I said, cloud flats are the one thing that really can stop that B route. Here we'll look at a cover too hard flat, not something that you should expect to see way too much, but if they were to run that, then of course the B route would be open again. So you see, like I've been saying the whole video, a cloud flat is what you really need to stop that route. If there's no cloud flat on the field, you can abuse it all day. Last but not least, we'll take a look at man defense, of course. Crossing route is going to do a pretty good job against man, especially if you have a good route runner there. Uh, the receiver we have there right now isn't the best route runner. We'd really be better off having like an Antonio Brown there instead, but... 
you know, I didn't swap them out before the play, so it is what it is. And then, of course, uh, against man, you also will have the in route. That's going to be, you know, easy man option for you, too. So, you see, there's there's a lot of options here with this play. Um, As far as I know, I'm in the Broncos playbook right now. So, you definitely can find this play in the Broncos playbook. I believe it's also in the Patriots. Uh, I want to say it's in the Chargers playbook as well. That's some of the, you know, tougher playbooks that it's in. If you know some other playbooks that it's in, definitely drop it in the comments below for everybody else but that's it for today guys if you enjoyed this video as always just drop a like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time